The story begins by introducing us to a city called Kansai. It is part of a futuristic world where technology has greatly advanced. Here we see our main protagonist, Swindler, leaving the house to go shopping. While walking, she risks her life to save a cat from certain death. After setting the cat free in an alley, she then decides to shop at a stall. Just then, a customer drops a coin, which draws her attention to it. When she returns the coin, the man tells her that dropped money is bad luck before speeding off. When it's time for Swindler to pay for her food, she insists that she has no cash, so she begs the lady to give her some time to come up with it. However, the stall owner quickly calls the police on her. Elsewhere, we are introduced to a man that goes by courier, who transports illegal things requested in exchange for money. He is so efficient at his job, as his ride allows him to beat the busy traffic. It is then revealed that courier is a criminal known as an Akudama. Akudama are classified criminals in Kansai. Those of higher ranks, which means they have committed the most crimes, are well known by the citizens and in order to eliminate them, division of executioners was created under the direction of the Korea government. has accumulated a sentence of 745 years, and we see him arrive to deliver his package in the midst of a gang war. Later, we are introduced to another Akudama called Dora, who at the moment is engaging the city's police force in a battle, which he seems to be enjoying. After the battle, he receives a job to rescue an Akudama called Cutthroat, who is scheduled to be executed soon. Cutthroat is the top-ranking criminal in the city, with 999 murders. In a building, we get to see another Akudama called Hacker having fun robbing a bank online. He too receives the mission to save Cutthroat for 100 million. On the bus, the last Akudama called Doctor receives the exact same task out of the blue. When the time for the execution arrives, the Akudamas prepare themselves for action. Meanwhile, at the station, Swindler is given her name, as she had money with her, but still refused to pay the stall owner. Everyone's attention is then drawn outside, where Brawler has begun fighting. The fight ends up at the station, but by this time, the other Akudamas have made their way in. When the police chief discovers that the Akudamas have come for cutthroat, he moves quickly to execute him before they can rescue him at the entrance to the elevator. Kuria and Brawler begin battling each other during the exchange when a poisonous gas is thrown by Doctor, who wants to get past with the least hassle. However, Brawler quickly recovers from the poison and tosses her through the roof, so she ends up alongside Hacker, who plans to do things from a distance. With every Akidema present, their intense situation is interrupted by Swindler, who just wanted to save a cat. When they discover she is just a normal girl, they all gang up on her. In the panic, she reveals that she is Swindler, an Akidema who managed to trick the system. Shockingly, they accept her as a rival for the prize money. Just then, a police tank arrives and begins to wreak havoc on them. The ground collapses into a section and they meet another Akidema called Hoodlum, who has decided to join the mission. As the countdown begins for Cutthroat's execution, the Akudamas arrive just in time to stop it. The whole place is thrown into chaos as the Akudamas battle each other and the tank. When Kuria gets stuck, Swindler decides to help him by drawing the tank's attention to herself. However, it attacks Hoodlum instead since she is not a registered criminal. Cutthroat, who has regained his freedom, this would be his 1000th kill and, as I said before, he is the highest ranked Akidema. Everyone present is then made to wear collars with bomb implants to show its legitimacy. The black cat saved by Swindler reveals itself as the mastermind of the operation. She informs them that the rescue operation was phase one of the mission, and when they checked their balance, 100 million had been credited to everyone. This makes them pay attention as she reveals the plan for phase two. She reveals the next stage is to attack the Shinkansen, the only means of entering the next city called Kanto. Everyone is shocked, because Shinkansen is regarded as a holy entity that is worshipped by the people of Kansai. When the group boards a bus, Cutthroat gets infatuated with the red colors as he loves blood. He begins hitting everything red, so he triggers the emergency throttle, making the bus accelerate uncontrollably, and it ends up hitting into a hotel. Crash, Hoodlum, and Brawler seem to hit it off in their brotherhood. 
Their little party is then interrupted by the security of the hotel, so the Akidamas clean them up. Later, the cat explains that the job is to steal a certain cargo that will be transported on the Shinkansen. When it explains the plan to infiltrate Kansai Station, it informs them of the importance of each member of the team for the mission to succeed. As they make preparations, two special police officers called executioners arrive at the scene.